Hello everybody and welcome back to another uh, tutorial. This time we're not going to space. Um, I figured some people might think, uh, space is not my thing. Really? I just want to make things uh, fly, blow up. And you can do that here too. As if you didn't know already. Uh, but anyway, they got... Uh, I'll go in my D, which is my... Uh, my sandbox. Uh, we're going to go into the space plane hangar today and... Uh, I'll show you guys how to make a plane that's flight worthy. Uh, very simple. Uh, in case you can't seem to get off the ground, I'll show you some uh, some tricks that I've learned. This might not be the correct thing, and uh, um, yeah, well, uh, just the way I've learned the game, and um, other people um, do it differently, perhaps. Uh, but anyway, let's just get started. Let's make our first plane here. Uh, we're going to make this one a little bit simple. Uh, so I'm going to start out with a small cockpit. And I'm uh, figuring, yeah, this is probably a little easier when you don't have a bunch of mods. Because now I'm uh, looking for the correct fuel tank. And we don't need, we just need liquid fuel. Uh, so I'm going to put it about. I'm thinking two of those. And uh, we're going to need a jet engine. We'll go with a small one. It's looking kind of short, isn't it? Ah, well, we'll see what happens. Uh, yep, and then we're going to need some wings. So you go into your aerodynamics. And I'll put the basic uh, wings on here. Swept wings, those are good. And this little thing, that's your uh, symmetry. So when you want to place wings evenly on both sides, you just hit that one, so it shows two, and ha-ha. We'll put them right, right there. That's good. And planes uh, do have a little uh, tail or a rudder on the back, so let's find that. Put a little winglet, and then we just need one of those there. And I'm going to do two of those again for... Yeah, the hotkey for the symmetry is X. That looks like a sweet little plane, doesn't it? Oh, it doesn't have any landing gear. So we're going to need to add that. This might be a little short, but it could be, it could be fun. Uh, we just need one up front. We'll put it way up there. There we go. And two of them. How about like that? Uh, from experience, that is not very stable on the runway, but I'm thinking I don't need uh, need a whole lot to do with that. Uh, work on that today. I might not be able to land, but who doesn't like a good crash? Uh, so yeah, another thing that's missing is your uh, control surfaces. So let me find a pretty basic one, like that one. And these ones can be a little tricky to get on, uh, like that. And then use your W, A, S, D, E, and R. Now I hold down Shift to get that moving just right. I think that's that should be enough. <clears throat> Another little piece of advice before you launch your, your first aircraft is uh, check these little um, bottom left. You got your center of mass, which is right there, and your center of lift, which is actually I did pretty good there. So we're just going to leave it the way it is. But if you look at when I move my wings, you can see your center of lift changes. You don't really want it way back there because you won't get off the ground that easily. I like to put it just a hair in front of the center. <clears throat> just like that. And I don't think they added these as... Uh, your jet engines, they need some sort of uh, air intake. Uh, so that you can pretty much put anywhere on your on your airplane. Uh, but you gotta have your air intake if you keep getting out to the runway and it's not starting that's that's why so that's that was crooked let me get rid of that we know it's all right there we go 
Let's see if that actually changed a whole lot. Not really. And we're good to go. We're not going to save this one. Uh, clear the runway. I must have... Uh, <clears throat> we need a pilot, don't we? Yeah, good enough. Yeah, I usually um, <laughs> cut the load scenes out. There we go. Hanbrett Kerman. Um, for easier flight, fly with your SAS on. Uh, and for this one, we're going to test it at full throttle. And you start it just the way you do your rockets with spacebar. And we're rolling down the runway. Yeah, look at that. It flies good. Now let's put the gear up with G. Stunt flying. Okay, let's see what this thing can do. Go. Okay, it doesn't turn that good. But I'm actually holding down S key, so I'm not stalling. So what I like to do for a good test is see how well it maneuvers. I'm not using any... Whoa! <laughs> let's buzz the tower. Oh yeah, let's do that. That's a pretty good little plane. Of course, uh, when uh, version 1.0 comes out, I'm probably going <laughs> to have a really hard time flying because I'm used to this. Okay. Buzz the tower. Buzz it. Uh oh. 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 Yes. Up in a loop, I'm doing a 5G's. Okay. Shall we try to land it? I know it's really hard with these, uh, the landing gear configuration. What I normally like to do is add a little structure underneath the wings and put them a little wider apart. Let's put the gear down. Like this. Put the lights on too so you can... Okay, we're coming in hot. Coming in fast. I'll just throw it all the way down. I always try for a runway landing, but not always successful. Uh, turn off the light, that's awfully bright. Okay, okay. Okay, and... Uh, brakes. You know, that landing couldn't have gone any better. <laughs> Got lucky the first try. Let me be right back. I'm going to go ahead and uh, build something a little more uh, complicated. And uh, just to give you guys an idea of what you can do with space planes. So I'll be right back. All right, I am back. Uh, this is what I uh, decided to uh, make a passenger plane. It's got, I forget how many it's got room for, but I didn't put any Kerbals in there, but there's four of them in the cockpit. Uh, they haven't made the cockpit yet. <laughs> uh, four engines. Uh, strapped underneath the wings. Of course, I can't wait till 1.0 where they actually said they're going to have uh, fuel in the wings, so you don't need to bring the fuel lines all the way around like that. But let's see if this thing actually gets off the ground first of all. So I'll put my SAS on. Full throttle. 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 And go. And maybe brakes off. A little coffee. I have not tested this one yet. I just built it. <laughs> I don't know why my engines are pointing down like that. I didn't notice that in the VAB. Okay, let's bring it up. Ooh, look at that. Oh, that is so close to the ground. 
Gear up. And there is um there's another little airport out there. So I'm gonna try to bring my Kerbal safely over there. It's right there, I marked it with uh another aircraft. A little wobbly, but it seems to be flying pretty good. So I'm gonna skip here so you don't have to wait the whole boring flight. I'll bring you out when I'm getting ready to land. Be right back. Alright, we're setting up to our final approach. Fall down a little bit. I'll put the gear out now because uh, I will forget. This thing is not exactly easy to control, <laughs> but it, it, it does fly pretty steady. But it's a little uh, heavy on the back, so I might have a little trouble uh, setting it down without scraping off some of my parts. Mm, a little coffee. Coffee. Our three or four Kerbals are looking rather um, concerned, rightfully so. My track record is not that great, keeping these guys alive. Huh. I'm going to throttle down even more, try to get under 100 meters per second for a touchdown. But what I'm afraid that this thing is too heavy. I mean, I'm still going down with my nose that far up. Eesh. Whoa. A little more throttle. Look at that. Flapping his wings. Flapping his wings. Get up and push. Ah. We're looking like a good approach. That was one of my failed landings over there. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, I'm holding my breath. And cut throttle. Oh well. Might have to work on my uh, flying skill. But isn't what they say? Um any landing you can walk away from is a good one. Yeah, look at him. Yes! I'm alive! Jump for me. I'm alive! Oh no, he's happy. They love jumping. Now get in there. Well, yeah, but I hope, hope that gives you a little bit uh, uh, of good advice. Uh, don't land like me. Remember, when you make them big, you got to have enough power, and you got to worry about the weight, and the weight flies. Uh, it's uh, complicated. Don't be afraid to experiment. Put a whole bunch of parts. Um, see how it does. Just bring it out to the runway. Test it. doesn't work. Bring it back in. Fix it some more. Um, and, of course, if you want a quick fix, just use my little, my little plane in the beginning, and you'll be flying in no time. But thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.